Why should I join the ARRL? Well, actually, this video should be entitled Why Did I Join the ARRL? Because I already have. Hi, I'm Hayden, VK7HH, and this is Ham Radio DX. If you're new here, please consider subscribing below the red subscribe button just here below and also hit the bell icon as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. So why did I join the ARRL? Well, stick around to find out. So before we begin, are you a member of the ARRL? And if so, how long have you been a member for? Uh, if you are not a member and you are considering joining, uh, please put a comment below as to uh, what's holding you back from joining. Maybe uh, there's something that you're not quite sure about. So pop a comment below and uh, I'll be interested to hear your thoughts. So why would I want to join the ARRL? Well, as you probably have already noticed, and for my regular viewers, you would know this, that I am Australian. So I'm not based in the United States. Uh, I'm a member of three local amateur radio clubs here. I am also a member of the WIA, the Wireless Institute of Australia. So why would I want to add the ARRL who are based in the United States onto that list? Well, I guess the first thing that I really looked at was I didn't really know an awful lot about the ARRL. Uh, but what I did do is, is I did receive this nice card in the mail uh, towards the end of last year, I think it was, uh, from David, NA2AA, who is the CEO of the ARRL. And I actually did an interview with David, and if you haven't already done so, please check that out. I'll put a link in the description and also in the cards above. Uh, David was a very, very nice guy when I spoke to him uh, and did the interview, and I asked him a couple of questions, and one of those that I brought up was, uh, what kind of international membership options are available for those uh, outside of the United States? I, might, I will also mention too that he also sent me, or the ARRL through David sent me this nice uh, mug, which uh, I enjoy drinking all of my favorite beverages out of. The first mug that actually arrived was in pieces because of the, uh, I won't blame the United States postal system, I think it was the Australian postal system, but uh, they sent a new one and I really do appreciate the thought that went in there and also the, as I mentioned, the nice card. So that was uh, one thing that made me sort of look towards the ARRL and to see what they can offer me. Now a couple of things that I've noticed, especially recently, uh, to do with a few things, I've read comments about how the ARRL has not done this or they have haven't done that. Um, sure, it might not be perfect, but in my personal opinion, it's it's easier to join and volunteer time or help out in some way to give organisations such as the ARRL some more resources to help better the future of amateur radio because we can all make a difference and help out in that regard. So I looked into the wide variety of memberships that include print editions of QST and also digital only memberships. So we have the, uh, what I chose anyway was the international membership which is $49 per year. That gives me the digital only copies of the magazine so I don't get the print uh, editions, but uh, that saves on a bit of postage, which is uh, good. So I get access to QST, uh, On The Air, QEX, and NCJ magazines, and also get the archives for that as well. And I've downloaded on my uh, phone the ARRL magazines app as well, so I can easily view each edition as it comes out uh, via that way, which is pretty cool. Now, one of the things that I got with my membership was access to QST magazine, and I have had a read, uh, had have a read, I've had a read through uh, some of those magazines and some of the archives, and they're quite good. And one of the things that interested me, especially in the April edition, was uh, Welcome to Solar Cycle 25, which is uh, we're now on our way up in the solar cycle again. And the, it, it makes for a great read all through the April edition. It's all talking about Solar Cycle 25. What I want to do is I want to put up just on the screen here, there is a preview article uh, of this particular magazine. You can check out the, the previews uh, online. I'll put a link again in the description to, to that if you're not quite sure or you wanted to sort of look in to see what is in QST magazine. And uh, yeah, Solar Cycle 25, uh, there's an article here from Steve Ford, WB8IMY, and uh, there's quite a lot of 
good, useful information. A little bit of technical stuff, a little bit of um, not so technical stuff. So I really enjoyed having a read through that. So getting access to the QST magazine was a real plus in my membership that I get. Uh, one of the other things that I noticed too was a relatively new magazine which I also get access to now. Of course these are all digital only copies as I said before. It was a magazine called On The Air. Now I'll read what the ARRL say about the On The Air magazine. It says that it's the newest member benefit to help new licensees and beginner to intermediate radio communicators navigate the world of amateur radio. It's delivered six times a year. The magazine will present articles, how-tos and tips for selecting equipment, building projects, getting involved in emergency communication, as well as spotlighting the experiences of people using radio to serve their communities and those using it for enjoyment. Whether you just passed your technician exam or have been licensed for years but never got around to making contacts or starting a project, On The Air can help you take your interest in radio to the next level with clear, useful information. And one of the things that I noticed, it's just simple stuff such as, uh, I'll display on the screen here, a first HF transceiver. Now you can see there that there's common controls found uh, on on radios. So that's just that's even a simple thing for those who are new and getting into the amateur radio hobby. Uh, something as simple as that, and and just reading these magazines, getting the information that's in them for uh, written, I think by um, newer amateurs for newer amateurs is a real great plus. So I enjoyed reading on the air as well. It was a, a great read. Now they also have a Facebook page as well, I'll put a link in the description for that. Uh, so if you want to check that out and, and join, that, uh, that might be very useful for you. So there's a whole bunch of other things that are also available from the ARRL. Some of the things that I've signed up for are e-newsletters on a wide variety of topics. So I've just received um, articles uh, and newsletters based on propagation. So that's uh, an interest to me. You can select which ones you want to receive and which ones you um, want to turn off or don't really want switched on. Uh, you also get an email, uh, ARRL email forwarding service, so you, you can have your call sign at ARRL.net, so that's handy as well. Uh, there's uh, technical articles and a vast library for ham, so I know when I spoke to David NA2AA, the CEO, he said that the ARRL is focusing very much on that back catalogue of uh, a library, so I suppose a little bit like the ARRL handbook, but a little bit more expansive maybe. Um, so uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that and, and that's all available for members online. You get member only forums as well. Um, and if you're still not sure about signing up to be an ARRL member, you can sign up on a 90 day free trial. So what do you got to lose? You can join for 90 days and if you don't like it, you don't need to renew. So I, th I, um, I decided to, to sign up and become a member. And here is my certificate of membership. I was elected as a member of the ARRL, the American Radio Relay League, until April 30th, 2022. That's because I signed up for a year. But, uh, but yes, I was uh, I was um, elected a member on April 30th, 2021, and I also I also have got a uh, a card as well, which is a membership card too, which has got my member ID and uh, when it's valid through to as well. So whether you're based in the whether you're based in the United States or you're based overseas, check out the ARRL and what they have to offer. I really enjoyed uh, well the magazines and everything else and the propagation uh, newsletters that were sent to me. But uh, I'm sure there's a whole variety of other things that are available for those who may be interested. But once again, if you are a member, please let me know in the comments below uh, what you enjoy about being an ARRL member and what it means to you. Uh, also put uh, how long you've been a member for as well. Uh, if you're thinking of joining or you haven't quite joined yet, maybe some of the roadblocks or some of the things uh, that you would like to see improve as well. And uh, that's about all I've got to say on this topic, but I just thought I'd do a short video on the ARRL. So thank you very much for watching. Please uh, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. 7-3.